What is up internet? I'm the nice one, and today, I got another character modeling video for you. This time, we're building an orc kind of tiefling type of character, kind of like what you would see in MMOs. So sit back, relax, and let me make the mistakes for you. So starting off from scratch, you see that I'm putting in some of my concept art that I had built in Photoshop. I'm putting in my front and left angle views so that I know how to orient my character as I'm building it. The approach that we're taking is something called box modeling, where basically you start off with a simple shape and from there you model out your character into whatever form is proper to your concept art. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm building out the muscles of my character. When I originally concepted him out, he was kind of like a barbarian type. You know, like a dude straight from Dragon Ball Z. So I started with a box shape and then I cut down the middle of the box by putting in a loop cut in the center and then deleted the first half. From there I added the mirror modifier so that whenever I was creating or making edits on one side of the box it would do the exact same on the opposite. Basically it cuts down your time in half whenever you're modeling so always use the mirror mod modifier to your benefit. Now what you see me doing here is uh, sculpting out his shoulder bones, shoulder muscles. So I'm going in and kind of adding the trap, the deltoid and all that stuff and then adding in the bicep here and then the tricep in the back, making sure to add proper loop cuts at areas where there's obviously bend or bulge. And then moving on to the forearm and then the hand after that. This is why you see the mirror modifier is super helpful because basically I don't have to do this twice. If you look closely you see that the same edits that I'm making on his right side or his left side are right view. It's being done on the left on the opposite side as well so honestly it cuts down your modeling time in half. Now something I'm still kind of struggling with is fingers because obviously there's a lot of joints and a lot of bend points there so I'm still working on how to get that better. Now moving on to the legs, I added a loop cut at the base of the current model so that I can extrude out some of his thigh muscles and then just kind of rounded it out so that it looked less blocky. Uh, and then adding in, you know, the, the actual thigh muscle, the bit of a, you know, we gotta add more bulge. You always need bulge, you know what I mean? With, with the box modeling technique, you really need to add a bunch of loop cuts to keep your model low poly, but also give it up the shape that you want it to have. We can use the box model for this case because we're gonna use a modifier in the future to kind of round everything off and make it look a little more uh, smooth. So we're, we call it the subdivide modifier and basically takes a low poly model, turns into a high poly finish by rounding out whatever triangles you have in your model. So that's what I'm planning for here. So yeah, again, finishing up the foot, kind of rounding it off, giving it a bit of a toe so that it looks a little more natural. Now what I'm doing here is I tried to do his head a couple of different ways. I tried sculpting it from a base circle. I tried, uh, basically I tried a lot of different sculpting techniques, but it didn't really work out. It didn't end up fitting the current model. So what I did here instead was I used the standard box modeling technique. So I started with a cube, shaped it from there, kind of added loop cuts, extruded, and then shaped the vertices at proper positions so that everything looks appropriate. So what I'm doing is I'm giving him a bit of an underjaw, a bit of a forehead, and then building in his horns straight into his forehead. That's what you're seeing right now. And then you'll see in a second that I actually build his tooth and teeth separately and then merge, control J merge it into the model. And yeah, that's basically it. So you basically have a model after you're doing that. So some of my big tips if you stuck through this whole thing was, again, use the mirror modifier to cut your time in half. Personally, when I was first starting out and what I'm still doing as I'm learning Blender is using the box modeling technique. I think that's really great as a kind of starting point to build out your uh, K 
capability when it comes to modeling a character because you learn how to how uh, edge cuts and loop cuts work with in terms of curving out a shape. So start with use the box modeling technique and then move on to sculpting after that. Anyways guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Stick around for my next one where I'm gonna texture this orc tiefling dude. I'm gonna call him Rav. <laughs> Let's just call him Rav for now. Uh, yeah, stick around until my next video about texturing and leave a comment if you have any questions about some of the stuff I did here. But until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a nice night.